Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? I'm back with a video. I'm coming at y'all with a little review, a little unboxing, if you want to call it. Well, it's already unboxed, but... We got a game system that I um, purchased yesterday. Well, it came yesterday, but... Um, I purchased it. Let's first, let's get about my dreads. How, how my dreads doing? I'm in a dread job. I'm telling you, bro. Somebody please review my dress on the YouTube, man. Uh, I watched Vinnie Matthews. Bruh. Review a real nigga dress, bro. My shit is the dopest dress in the game. That's what I see it as. I got them in braids right now. I braided it last week. I'm going to take them out in another week so they can be real curly. But if y'all want to know my routine on what I do with my hair, um, I sleep with this on every night. I never miss a night where I don't sleep with this because... The friction, um, I got some pillows that are pretty, um, they got cotton and stuff. But these braids is holding up. They ain't the perfect, the, like, the perfect, nicest braids because, uh, I am freeforming. So, um, they are, the dreads are thick, some are skinny, um, most of my dreads are thick, though. The roots, I ain't gonna cap, I had a little, I, I had a little trouble with the roots and thought that, I just gonna say it. I thought I, was, I thought I was gonna have to shave my head, man, and start start from uh, brand new. Um, I'm out of time right now, so if I was to get my hair like ever retwisted, the person is in PA, so I'm not able to go to them and get it retwisted. It's my sister's friend; she would do it. Um, but I'm I'm strictly free form. I've been free form since 2018. This 2021. But if I had to get my shits retwisted. So, yeah, I don't have to cut them because my hair grows away from the actual dread itself. So, that means I got, if I take this off, it just look a mess. And new growth is growing up here, all over, man. It's just a mess, man. And, um, it's, it's, it's just a mess. It, and now, in the summertime, this is where I'm going to really have to debate on things. Like, I'm about to get some rose water. No, not rose. Some, some, some type of, uh, peppermint water. Because I'm, I ain't gonna cap to y'all. I'm not, and it has growth stuff in it, so it's gonna basically do the same thing oil does. But it's lighter on my hair. That means I'm really not gonna need to wash my hair that much because in the summertime, bro, I'm telling y'all, in my neighborhood, we be getting shit smacking on the hoop court. I'm telling you, we be running, we be running fives, man. I'm telling you, we be playing full court, man. Never a day in the summertime you'll catch us playing, uh, half court. Nah, we 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 run up the full court, bro. And it be it be a lot of us, you know, so. You know, I'm real active in the summertime. Like, right now, it's cold out, and I'm I, I'm still trying to hoop in the cold. But since COVID is up, the basketball things is closed, like the gates. You got – I'm like, oh, come on, bro. But as far as the summer, bro, I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do with these dreads, man, because they're longer now. They're they're past my butt, basically. And um, I had them for eight years, you know. I had them for eight years. I started them when I was 13 or 14, I think. No, 13. I think so. Um. So they they getting up there and weight man they most definitely they most definitely heavy as shit man like I ain't gonna cut but that's for another video today we were talking about the console I got I'm gonna first show y'all a box see if y'all know what this is now look I'm gonna say this now it's probably the best game system I bought no cap I, I'm glad I invested in this you know I got this for my money my hard earned money and uh. This shit, this shit nice. I like it. Now there's a difference between that and the and the regular switch. The regular switch is blue and uh red, and that's bigger. Um, my little cousin actually got the regular switch, so I could do a comparison when I get back to PA on this one versus the regular. I'm gonna tell you no. If you're a person that like that motion whenever you playing the game and that drum vibrate, this don't have that. You would have to buy a separate Joy-Con to, to, to put on there because the um the vibration is not on this system. Now, what I had to buy with this is a micro. I got this from Amazon. You could, It's the brand is called Railtech. You can look that up. I don't know what this is. You don't put that inside the system. I think that's just like a little memory card holder. But what this does is... You could put it in drones, computers, cameras, and TVs, and yeah. 
in game systems, but it's, it's 32 gig and it saves like your game. Like, okay, I, I, I got Saints Row for this. I'm about to get 2K21 for this and then I'm about to get Fortnite. Um, but I, uh, I got Saints Row because I needed something GT, like even though GTA 5 can't, well, I've be, I be seeing videos that people be playing GTA 5 on this and I'm trying to figure out how you do that. Not unless it's a modification, but I personally, I'm going to tell you the systems I got myself back in, uh, I got one system in Ohio where my dad is, I got the, um, I got the PlayStation 5, I got the PS4 back in PA, well, it's me and my older brothers, but he's, he said he would give it to me because he don't play it no more, but I got the P4, and it's something I just wanted to grab, you know, just to play on the go, is this, and I'm telling you, this, this, this won't disappoint you, man, this is real light. Nintendo Switch Lite. This is the Lite version. Um, the color on this is the coral. It's like a salmon, if you want. You know I mean, and uh, it it has a little weight to it. It's not that heavy. It's not like the regular Switch. It's not that heavy. One thing I like about this is that um, it has a USB Type C, USB Type C, and for for all of us that you know, all my niggas that use the newer Bluetooth speakers, you know the JBL Flip Five. I got the new JBL uh, Charge Four. I got all the new JBLs. I'm telling you, the Boombox. I got every one. You just gotta got review. I'm actually about to turn this off. I don't even know if y'all heard me because this shit was on, but y'all should heard me. But we got the JBL Flip Five. Of course, it's take USB Type C. Now, the features of this, I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to turn it around, though. So, if you want to turn it on, okay, we'll first go over the buttons and everything. Just like your regular switch, you got the uh, your analog up here. It clicks. It click down. Then you got this one. Your A, X, your A, Y, X, and B. Your plus and minus right there. Then you got original old school Nintendo D-pad at the bottom. Now, the switch don't got that. It got the little circle zones. And then I don't know what that button does right there. I still did not figure that out. It's pretty sad, actually. You got the home button. You got your speakers. Then that's where you insert your uh, US, your micro SD card to save your memory and stuff on your games. And then you got a speaker. Then do not take this off. You need to leave that on because if, say, something was to go wrong with your system, if you bought it from GameStop or wherever, and if you don't got the receipt or whatever, you could just they give you just give them this serial number. I learned my lesson with that with uh with this JBL. Actually, I had to flip four, and um I learned my lesson of uh, taking the serial numbers off. Actually, my little brother took it off, but I learned my lesson. They would not replace my stuff, and trust me, I was mad at him. I was mad at that nigga for a hot minute. Um, but here go your fans right here. You do not want to block these or anything or put anything over these. Is the air? It's like an air return. Same with this. Um, there's a little fan in here and it'll cool off the system. And then you got your uh, power button right there. And your volume up and down. And then that's where you put the game in. Headphone jack. You got your R, Z, R, L, and Z, L button. I'm going to show you how to turn it on. Now it's coming on right now. This is what it looked like in hand. I got some pretty long fingers. So... It sometimes be hard for me to play because, like, I got them damn basketball fingers. Like, I could palm a basketball shot. So, look, it's going to take you to this page. You got your Nintendo shop. Me, personally, I uh, I need to learn more about this because it's my first Switch ever. <laughs> and it's touchscreen, too. Hold up, hold up. You got to turn it back on. You, gonna, you could click this three times. And boom, you got St. Troy right there. And then you got your time. The time is a little bit more faster on my phone right now. And then I got I created me an account up here. ICJX, ICJ6. That's my IG name. So y'all go ahead and follow a real one on IG. Um, the You got your battery. You could click on this too. I'll show y'all this real quick. Hold up. It's at 86%. And then if you want to turn it off again, you go to don't. If you want sleep mode, like say if you're just taking a quick break from it, you sleep mode, but you push A for uh, and then you go to if now if your stuff acting up and lagging, you restart it and it'll refresh it. Then it won't delete nothing off it though. 
and then turn off this right here, and then you'll be all good. You'll be all done with that. Now, my thoughts on it, I only had it for one day. Um, I wanted to see what the hype was because everybody, like all my little brother's friends had the Switch Lite, the regular Switch. One of my little brother's friends has the PlayStation 5. But um, now the only thing I need to see is what, what that, that the hype. I'm, I'm going to know what the hype is with that P5. I already know that. Like I got it myself, but it's over my people house in, in Ohio, so I can't get it right now. I don't even want that thing shipped in the mail. I'd rather go get it physically because if that if it gets because pa hey packages can get lost in the mail, they most definitely can. I had like three packages. I had a I had a pair of uh, Jordans that got lost in the mail. I'm telling you, man, I was the angriest man walking on earth, man. I was so mad because I paid three twenty for some Jordans. I was upset, man. And um, I, I another package. I got my my Apple Watch got lost. Actually, I still did not receive that shit to this day. I never got. This was back in two thousand and nineteen. Did I never? I did not get that Apple Watch. Did not get it. But I have a PO box, so I never went to my post office to see. I, I might go there when I get back to PA because that shit could be in there because. They said that if the package does not receive at the carrier's door, then they'll most likely put it in the P.O. box where it's safe. Because I have like a, a locker. I don't know if it's P.O. box, but it's like a locker out in the city. And I have them put my packages there because the neighborhood I'm in, that back in P.A., they like stealing and shit off, off people's porches. They like porch hopping. And I'm not with that. It's, you just going to have most definitely have to run a fade if I open the door and I see you. They come up, I'll be like, oh, yeah, I see you, nigga. What? I'll be to beat someone's ass, man. Don't play with me. But, yeah, that's why I got a locker. That's what, okay, I'm going to just advise y'all. If y'all have a bad neighborhood you live at, and y'all know niggas is famous out there for robbing off porches and, and shit when the Amazon truck be dropping it off, bro, it's best to just get a locker, bro. Like, have them, and then if you got a vehicle or a car, bro, shit, if you don't even have it, shit, walk, man, depending how far you are from it. Like, me... My shit's in Oakland, man. So I, I gotta either take a bus or, or or use Mom Dukes' whip. You know what I'm saying? I gotta. I'm gonna have to do it, man. Like, cause I'd be damned if I pay like this. Like, I'd be damned if if this if this get stained and somebody else enjoy it and this shit. I'm no, nah, man. Uh -uh, I ain't going out like that. But my thoughts on it, man. Hey. I had every game system growing up. I had the PlayStation 2, the regular PlayStation 1, the PS4, the Xbox One. I got the P5. I had a GameCube. I had a Nintendo DS, 3DS. I had the regular DS. I had a Game Boy. I had uh, I had a, a PSP. Oh, my goodness, yo. The PSPs, bruh. All my OGs from 2000 know about the PSPs, man. The PSP goes... The, 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 bro, them drones, bro. Man, I'm telling you, bro. I had my, the longest time I had a PSP was like for a year. And then I ended up selling it because I just got bored with it. And I just, I ended up selling it. And then, if y'all probably wouldn't know how I got my PlayStation 3, I, I sold it. They gave me store credit to get a pl PlayStation 3 because that system was still new. So I sold it while it was still kind of new. And then I got a PlayStation 3. I think 500 gigabytes or something like that. And then it came with a controller that was like, like the vibration in there. There was something in the controller that was stuck in there. But it was from Game Exchange. And I got the uh, PS3 for, I think, 185. Mm hmm. But I like the Switch, man. I mean, I got to get used to it because I, I, I'm not used to having a handheld game system like this. I mean, I had the PSP, but that was a long time ago. I'm telling you, I was like back in the PSP. I had that shit when I was like probably 13, man. Like 12 or 13. Like probably when I started these. So like, um, at that, that like if I was to get a PSP in my hand right now, that shit would feel so weird. I mean, I would know how to play it, but it just, it just felt weird. But Nintendo Switch, there is downsides of the PSP that, that the Nintendo Switch has. The PSP don't even vibrate either. It doesn't. It don't vibrate. The only the only handheld system that vibrates is that regular Switch, but the Switch Lite don't. Because these Joy-Cons on here are stuck on here. Like, you can't take these off. Now, I'm going to get a case for mine because um, I am clumsy at times. I am going to get a case. 
just to be on the safe side, because I, I paid a good amount for this, man. This is still a new system. I paid about... I, I get everything I have brand new, like my iPhone 11 I got now. I got it on Amazon brand new. You ain't catching me with no refurbished, none of that. These beats I got right here, brand new, man. They, you know, they, they don't even sell these no more, but I got them on eBay for brand new. It came with the beatbox, but that downstairs. And my JBL Flip 5, boom, brand new. Got that shit brand new. I ain't get, you know why? I learned my lessons with refurbished items because I ended up getting the refurbished um, Xbox One. And I'm telling you now, you literally, okay, how they describe it on eBay, they'll describe it as, oh, it's the best thing and it's in mint condition. Bruh, when I got that shit, that shit had two dents in the back of it. Looked like somebody been throwing that joint around. My controller analog was, was, was stuck. It wasn't moving right because I, I was playing online on 2K. I had my mic here apart. And my people was getting mad because I was supposed to be helping them on the team. And I'm like, bro, my fucking controller is, is locking on me, bro. It's not, it ain't doing right. And the uh back, what is it? Or LT or something button? Yeah, the LT button was not, it wasn't clicking right. Because I, I, I was driving, I was trying to drive to go for a dunk, but it was not letting me do it. Or it was RT, one of them buttons. And I'm like, bro. I'm like, let me let me message the seller, bro. Let me let me let me talk that shit to him, bro. Cause he he sold me a fucking fluky, bro. This nigga sold me a, a fluke item, yo. And it was the it was the uh the regular Xbox One. I, I messaged, bro, and I was like, bro, what, what's good with your system, bro? I said, what's wrong with it, bro? And he was like, oh, I forgot to mention in the comments it has been used, and it was seven out of ten condition. I was like, nigga, this is like a four out of ten condition, bro. I was like, my shit locking on me, bro. It came with two dents. I said I needed to clean it with an air duster because the shit was dusty as shit, man. I'm like, bro. I'm like, you you can't be selling items like that. And he was like, I'm sorry, and I was like, all right, well, let me get a refund. And he was like, well, it's already been past uh, 90 days. And I'm like, bro, I don't care about that, bro, because I did have it for over 90 days. But it wasn't doing that until the end of the 90 days. That's what I'm saying. It was doing good when I first got it. I mean, I had to clean it, but the controller and shit, like, like, bro, like, when, when I get something like this, is this, if I had to rate this, I'm going to rate them on Amazon today. I'm going to rate this shit at 12 out of 12, man, because it, it came on time. The Amazon driver put it on on the porch step nice and neat. Didn't just throw it up there. Because I be catching Amazon drivers just be throwing the box on the shit, man. It could be fragile. I, I'm sorry now, but if you if I catch you throwing a, 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 a package or something on my porch, bro, I'm going to have to jump off the steps and just whoop your ass, bro. Because, like, that's not money. that That's money going into more work that I need to pay for. So, therefore... What you throwing shit on the steps for, bro? You know? But, yeah, man, that don't get nothing refurbished, bro. Like, don't. Nothing electronics because it will, the reviews will be like, oh, it's all good, man. It's, it's in good condition and it's this, it's that, it's whoop de woo this, man. No, man, because when you get it, it'll, it'll pretend to be all right, but in the long run, it start acting weird. I say this Nintendo Switch will last me... Shit, bro, until 2025 or something, bro. And then when I do, like, decide to, like, not play it no more, I mean, I'll still play it, but if I wouldn't decide not to for some weird reason, then I'll give it to my little brother because he don't have a system. No, as a matter of fact, I lied. He does have a PlayStation 4, but he needs a new fan in his system because it's making a rumbling, grinding noise. And then he's, uh... Getting a new controller, DualShock, because him and his friends are wrestling. And then they fell on top of the system. And I didn't even buy the system. My older brother bought it. And I told him what happened. And he just he just wasn't happy. That nigga was pissed. He was he was he was hot, man. Cause he got that PlayStation 4. It was it's the PS4 Pro. I got the slim. My brother has the slim, but he's giving it to me. So basically stay my I got the slim, my little brother got the P4 Pro. Um but yeah, man. I say in 2021, like there's these, there's these dumb re retarded YouTube videos. Oh, should you get the iPhone 11 in 2021, bro? The iPhone 12 is not, bro. That shit is literally the same, bro. I I have some. I have a cousin that has the same exact thing. She has the 12 Pro Max. 
I used it for a couple a couple hours. Bro, that shit is it's more it got a new processor. It's more smoother, but bro, if you have the rated, bro, it's it's just like the eleven. Now, if you upgrading from like a seven or eight, then yeah, that's gonna be a big ass difference. But if you already got the eleven, bro, or the ten R, bro, or even the ten S Max, bro, that shit is the same, bro. It does. It, all the newer iPhones have the no uh, home button except for the SE twenty twenty. Like, bro, fuck all these YouTube videos. Or should you get this in in twenty twenty one? Shit, bro. I know somebody that's still rocking the six S Plus right now. There is nothing wrong with that, yo. Do what you want to do. That's, that's what I'm saying, bro. Niggas is in the matrix, bro. Niggas want us to do what everybody else is doing. No. Everybody thinks I got this 11 to look like him or copy her or do that. Nah, bro. I got this 11 because I do YouTube videos on it. I do business. Um, yes, it's 64 gigs. Um, I have probably used only 19.3% of my storage on here. I still got enough. I went to... Uh, my phone guy, because I had to get something on the 11 fix, he was like, bro, your storage is still looking like brand new, fresh out the box. That's why you get 64 gig phones, because you could literally, you don't need a 250s. Now, I ain't gonna lie, if you like a, a, a photographer and you do all that camera, then yeah, you gonna need like the 512 or the 256 or 120, but me, I don't do all that. Like, I take pictures and I back them up on Google Photos or some shit like that. But all these videos with, oh, bro, should you get the, this in um, 20, bro, I know niggas that have the 11 and that are going to stick with the 11. And if they do get a new phone, it's going to be the 11 Pro Max because that shit is just like the 12, but rounded edges instead of the 5S square edges. You get what I'm saying? I mean, personally, I'm not about to drop a band on the same thing that I could get cheaper for the 11 Pro Max. Because if I ever do get a new iPhone, it's going to be 11 Pro or the Pro Max. That's that's the farthest I'm going to go. They're already talking about the iPhone 13. That shit, that shit going to have 23 cameras on the back of it. I ain't going to cap. That joint going to have 23 cameras. They gonna, each year, they're going to add more cameras to the newer iPhones. First, it was three. Now, they're going to add four for the uh, 13. And then they're going to add five, then six, then seven. It's pretty soon, the whole entire phone is going to be covered in cameras. And it's just going to look very weird, you know? But uh, the real question is, should you buy the Nintendo Switch in 2021? Unlike these people out here be saying, yes, you should buy it. Shit, I'll say this. If you still are, like, old school, shit, get the, the, the Nintendo 64, man. Because my mom, Dukes, my mom grew up on that 64 and you know she 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 messed with that man. She grew up with the Mortal Kombat man. I'm talking about, you know she 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 knew about that. She don't really mess with the Xbox One. She don't really like that. She she messed with Sony though, like the P4. She she liked the P4. But she she must definitely. When I told her I got the Switch, she was like she want to play it one day. I was like, oh yeah, most definitely you could play it. You know. But yeah, you should, bro, get that shit, bro. Even if it's 2025, bro, niggas is still gonna have the Nintendo Switch. Bro, I'm just saying this for myself. All my black niggas is going, all my black OG, old school, 2000 niggas is gonna stick with the same shit. They're not gonna sit there and, oh, I'm gonna just get this because he's getting it. Or I'll, nah, bro, no. Mm -mm. The way I was raised, not to be a follower, be a leader. You know what I'm saying? Like, all these stupid ass YouTube videos, should you. Upgrade your iPhone 11 to the 12 Pro, and is the 12 Pro better and 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 I have more of a processor than the 11, bro. I literally, I'm with uh, I'm with Metro. I asked them a couple weeks ago, what do you think if I if I should upgrade to the 12? They said, what phone you have? I said I got the 11. Before I even got the word 11, he said, no, 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 bro. He said, don't do it. You're just gonna waste your bread, and then you're gonna want your old 11 back. Like, bro, it's a, bro, yes, it's a newer iPhone, okay. It's nice, no, I ain't gonna cap. If somebody just gave me the 12 right now, bro, I'm gonna use it, bro. I'm gonna use it, but I would still use this as my backup music phone and just use that as just like a regular call phone, you know? That's just what I do. But am I about to use my hard-earned money when I can get, when I can get a damn car, something that I need, Nah, bro, it, it 11 Pro, bro, I'm at the 12 Pro, you, you're spending like 
We spent like two bands on it, bro. Brand new. I'm telling you. If you was, they don't have 64 gig for that for them newer ones. They don't. They got the 128, 256, or the 512. You get a 512. If you like a business businessman and do all type of shit, you're gonna need 512. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. If you if you use a lawyer or whoever, you're gonna need 512 because you're gonna be put all the notes and everything in your phone. That's gonna take up storage. Bro, you're going to need that 512. 250, you might get away with 256, 128. You might get away with that. But the 64 gig ain't going to cut it with you. Me, I don't do much on my phone. You know? I don't do anything on it. I got other iPhones. I got the 10s Max, that 7 Plus, the 8. And I got the 10R, the uh, Coral 10R, the same color as the Switch. I, bro, I just, I just, I might sell one of them. I don't even know. I give one to my mom. She wants the iPhone because she's tired of... The droid. She's been using Droid since. She used to have iPhone 5s and 4s, but she's been using Droid since 2011. And uh, yeah, but I'm in this video. Y'all go like, comment, subscribe. And the real nigga is about to be out. I'm about to go back to sleep. I'm about to be caved.